Hey, I know you can't wait for more math with McComish, so here's some more information coming your way. So we're going to be talking about multiplying and dividing polynomials by a constant or just a number. But first we need to review the distributive property. So when a number is outside of the brackets, it gets multiplied by every term inside the brackets. So this says 4 multiplied by 3 plus 7. So in this case, you can multiply this 4 by the 3, you'd get 12 and four times a seven, which is 28. Make sure you watch your signs, okay? So this 17 would be multiplied by everything inside the brackets. So this would give you negative 68 plus 34. Okay, we're gonna use that property. So it works for variables as well. Okay, when you multiply a constant by a polynomial, Multiply the constants by the coefficients in each term. So we're not changing the variables because we're multiplying only by a constant number. Okay? So this one is 4 times 2x plus 6. So I'm multiplying the coefficients. So this would be 4 times 2. My x goes along with it, so it would be 8x. 4 times 6 plus 24. Okay, this one, if there's nothing in front of the variable, it's always assumed that it's a 1. So multiplying by those. So 9 times 1 is 9, so it would be 9x squared plus 36x minus 27. Over here, multiplying coefficients. Keep the sign with it. So you can pretend that that's like a negative sign when you're multiplying. So negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6x squared, negative 3 times negative 3x is plus 9x, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and finally this one would be negative 33x cubed plus 110 when we multiply. Okay, so the variables do not change when you're just multiplying by a constant. Okay, so pause the video and try these, expand each polynomial, and then I will show you the solution. Okay, so here's the solutions to these. This one you'd have negative 20 plus 8x, or 8x minus 20 would also work. We're timesing this by everything inside. So I would get 12a cubed plus 48 a to the exponent 5 minus 60a plus 72. Okay, for this one, we're going to do this. So 3r to the exponent 4 minus 60p squared plus 90rp minus 45. And this one is going to, we're going to go over this kind uh, in the future of multiplying by a, a variable. So I won't go over that quite right now. Okay, dividing polynomials by a constant. So what we can do is if we're dividing by just a number, we can actually split the expression into the sum or difference of two fractions. Okay, so... This one I would make into this right here. So it's like dividing by 4 on every term. So 4s squared divided by 4 minus 8 divided by 4. And then I would simplify. So 4 divided by 4 is just 1. So what I'm, I'm dividing the constants, just the numbers, not the variables. Variables say the same. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And it is a subtract sign. Okay, so we simplify those fractions after we split them up. Okay, so let's split these up. Negative 10 divided by negative 2 plus 4m squared divided by negative 2. So I just split the top up into different fractions, and I put my negative 2 under both. Now I'm going to divide them. So negative 10 divided by negative 2 is positive 5, plus 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2m squared. So I could write that as 5 minus 2m squared as well. Those are the same. Just watch those negative signs. 
So it works for three terms as well. So negative 3m squared divided by negative 3 plus 15mn divided by negative 3 minus 21n squared divided by negative 3. So negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1m squared. So I just could write m squared. 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. So I could put minus 5mn. And negative 21 divided by negative 3 is positive 7n squared. And that is how we simplify expressions. So give these a try. I will put the solutions in a minute. So pause the video. So here are the solutions. I'm not going to write out the second step, but it's a good idea if you do. So this would be x plus 2. This would be... 3r squared plus 2. This would be negative 3v squared plus 2. This would be 2x minus 1. We would have x squared minus 2x plus 3 sevenths. Fractions and decimals are okay to have in these. Better than repeating decimals. This one I would have 5x minus 3x squared plus 20, minus 1. You could simplify those to just make it 19, though. And finally here, you'd have 3x squared minus 2x plus 6. So that is multiplying and dividing by a constant.